Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's still morning. It's not quite noon here in Connecticut. I was having some technical issues today, um, and I'm a little late. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things today. One is mixing with milk paint, so mixing colors to get a color that you want. And the second thing is using milk paint as a stain. Um, I'm working on a project and I needed to stain the wood. I couldn't work on a raw piece. I'm just using these scraps of, I think this is birch plywood. It's what they use to make kitchen cabinets out of, I think. Um, so I mixed up my own stain. I didn't have Curio, which is a Miss Mustard seed color, which is a beautiful brown. And I wanted something warm. I didn't want to have just typewriter, which is her black. I wanted something warmer than that. So what I did is mixed, I mixed typewriter with Outback Petticoat, which is an orange, beautiful orange. And you really can't see it, but that's an orange and typewriter is black. So what I did, and look at that, as I've told you guys, milk paint separates, you have to constantly mix it. So I put in about um, one part typewriter to one part Outback Petticoat. Um, and when you do this, be sure to have a scrap that you're gonna test until you get the color that you want. And I mixed it with a lot of water, and you're gonna see me when I, when I show you guys how to do this, I add even more water. And I got this really beautiful, um, kind of like a burnt umber color, really nice. And this only works on raw wood. So this is our um, piece of birch that I brushed it on and wiped it off. So let me show you. And if you wanted to make like a cool black stain, you could add Artissimo to the typewriter. You can really play around with the milk paint colors and create your own unique palette. It's so much fun. So here's a piece of un, untreated birch. There's nothing on it, it's raw. And I'm gonna show two, two techniques here. So, and it might not work at all or it, it, it might work well, but I'm wetting one side because I'm curious to see how that affects the um, milk paint. Give it a good stir. Wet my brush a little bit more and I'm laying down Now you can really, when you're doing something like this, you can have a lot of fun. It's like watercolor, um, you know, getting away from stain for a minute and you can take other colors and drop them in. It would be really beautiful. So what I see immediately with the side that I wet, it doesn't take the stain as much. So it's if you want something lighter, that's what you would do. Um, now I've got this piece of paper towel, I'm just gonna wipe it away. Kind of pouncing it, give it a little, give it a little texture. The, this one I just wiped um, horizontally. And this one, it almost looks like bird's eye maple. But the side that I wet, definitely is lighter because the wood filled up with the clear water and accepted less of the pigment from the milk paint. So that keep that in mind when you're doing this if you want something that's really light. And there you go. 
Now, this piece is essentially stained with milk paint. You can just finish it with wax or um, hemp oil and call it a day. Um, you can layer this with um, more solid milk paint or chalk-based paint. And when you're distressing or wearing away, it will go down to the stained wood and not this bright raw wood. So that's your little bite size um, tutorial for today, mixing with milk paint. Any questions at all, pop them into the comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today and happy painting.